Hey there. So, you need to get your ears cleaned? Alrighty, well, what I'm going to do is I have some solution, I have some wipes, um, a few Q-tips, and a few paper tiles to just kind of dry off when we're done. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray some solution on your ears. I'm going to massage the solution in. After that, I'm going to get some baby wipes to do a really good thorough cleaning on the outside as well as a little bit on the inside. Um, and then I'm going to use some Q-tips for the deep cleaning, okay? Alrighty. So just relax, and I'm going to take care of everything. We'll start with the solution, alright? I hope you're having a good day today. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to massage the solution into your ear, just to make sure we get everything we need. That way it can be thoroughly cleaned. dog that is, who that belo who, whose dog that belongs to, is, he's just been barking. And no, I haven't gotten the cat yet, I've been thinking about taking a trip, and before I get an animal, I want to take this trip first, that way I don't have to worry about a new animal in a new environment while I'm gone, so once I take the trip and come back, then I'll take the steps in getting the, um, the kitten. So just for those who are wondering why I haven't gotten the kitten yet, I'm planning on taking the trip pretty soon, so I don't want to go far away and run the risk of having a cat in a new environment, because it may not take kindly to it. It may, it may not. I just don't want to run that risk. So, just in case you were wondering. Because I've gotten people asking me about the cat, and I'm just like, I can't... I'm still thinking about how I'm going to do it. I don't want to just impulsively get an animal and not know what to do with it. That's what gets a lot of people in trouble these days when it comes to owning pets. They get a pet, they don't have a plan, and it's a whole bunch of mess. When I was a kid, I had neighbors who had dogs, and they didn't take care of the dogs. They just wanted the pet, but they didn't take care of the pet. The poor dog 
end up suffering a fate that I don't think anybody should have suffered, any animal for that matter, but that's what happens when you don't have the proper care to take care of an animal, and that's not what I want to do. So I want to make sure I have all my T's crossed and I's dotted, I guess, before I decide to bring in a new addition, especially an animal, especially a rescue. That's responsibility. That's a lot of responsibility. Although cats are low maintenance, still it's an animal and it still needs care and patience. Especially if it was abandoned. It needs all the care and patience it can get. Alright. Now I'm going to use these wipes. Just to clean the outer portion of your ear. Just relax. This side. So just bear with me. Do this really gently. They're a little dirty. It's not too bad though. People, what they do around here is that they'll put their animals on the porch, and I like I understand, but like it's kind of hot. <laughs> I mean, it is hot out here in Texas, and as much as the animal may be an out, you know, an outdoors sort of like dog or cat or whatever, it's a bit hot to have them outside in this heat. I'm sorry, this is a really, you know, it's a bit too hot to have an animal out in this heat. I'm inside and sometimes 
it gets hot in here because I'm on the top floor. It cools down at night, but it does get a bit, you know, warm. And I have the thermostat on like 65, 64, 63. And because I'm on the top floor, it tends to get hotter in here. So I can only imagine how it feels to be outside all day, or even for just a couple of minutes. Alrighty, now I'm going to use the Q-tip to go on the inside. And with Q-tips, and people never tell you this, they always um, give you like a, just don't go too deep. When you use a Q-tip, it's kind of like a gentle scraping motion, like scraping outward. So when you go in, you push outward to get the, the wax out. At least that's what I do. Instead of pushing it in, you just kind of try to get the wax outwards. So far, so good. Try to go too deep. Just enough to get that wax. It's not a lot. Okay. You can get those crevices right here. Those ears look pretty clean, a lot cleaner than earlier, so you should be good. But if you need me for anything else, just let me know, and we'll get it taken care of, okay? Have a good day or night, take care, and I'll see you again soon.